The Fiend would like to make a friend out of me, so you know what? Why not go with it? Because uh, he does want to be a, a best friend whatsoever. And because of what Ruben said about something earlier, are you the Fiend's best friend? I'm going to say, I think he's starting to like me, even though he likes to troll very, very much, which absolutely works in his favor. So, yeah, that I'm going to go with that if you want to know. So, thanks. I will go with that very, very much. Let's go with that. Oh. So on this summer's, uh, so why don't we go out with it on summer's end on SummerSlam right here on Leo's Let's Plays Alliance of on the comic strip thumbnail. Interesting things to see on a crossover of Japanese anime. DC, Marvel, Power Rangers, Kamen Rider, and you name it, whichever works best. So why not I come in with, let's see, uh, hmm, where, <laughs> okay, just only, only the two characters I can think of, so, I know who is in this, and that is MANKIND! So why not him? Uh, it's like, why man, why of Mick Foley all of a sudden? Uh, simple. Uh, he is like one of my, he is like one of the most likable characters out of all, in all, of all time. Akira Tozawa! Not much I know about him. Uh, of course, he does show up, like, from WWE's main event, so I'm pretty sure that works. Oh, Dallas! The British Bulldog! So, there's so many things that, uh, that, that comes up with like that, so, yeah. SummerSlam! Yeah, the British Bulldog was in the night is all is an old old school style wrestler back in the nineties, if you want to know. British Bulldog, and now he's in the Hall of Fame of WWE's Hall of Fame. Of course, but right now though about mankind, uh Mick Foley, before he became come into WWE, he be he is like the wrestler who uh, likes takes a lot of punishment, who seriously likes to take a lot of punishment of any whatsoever. I mean, it's like this guy is immune to pain. He gets slammed through in for the choke slam in a high, like 20 feet in the air from a Hell in a Cell cage matches. And then it's just unbelievable. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's really ridiculously insane. Uh, it And... Um, and from steel cage matches, steel cage matches, uh, the demonic cell matches like a cube, and uh, anything goes. He does like extreme, like very absolutely extreme, and then he really knows how to take a lot of punishment. Like this guy's immune to pain. I mean, he kind of lost teeth, and then he's a kind of a bit of a deformative ear. Then he has two of the alter egos. Uh, Dude Love and Cactus Jack. And then before it was Cactus Jack, he decided to bring up a guy who comes out of the asylum whose name is Mankind, who wears a mask, and he does the Mandible Claw before there were others who kind of made the Mandible Claw besides the Fiend, if you want to know. So, yeah, the Mankind is an interesting character. And Mick Foley, I mean, it's like, he is like one of the... Popularized characters. He was on that Chef Boy, um, uh, can't, uh, Chef Boy RD commercial TV commercial back then, and it, it was interesting. I I really like Mick Foley to be honest. He's 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 such a he's such a great guy to to see. I mean, for those who have met him before, of course. And now may I present you. One of the three faces of Mick Foley. Uh, Dude Love is not in this game. I wish it was, but it sucks. But Mankind 
is one of them because he's like the popular characters of is one of his alter egos, including Cactus Jack. Making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 287 pounds, Mankind! Wrestlers from the UK, if you want to know. Three, two, one. But this is the SummerSlam! Oh my, talk about King <laughs> Not done without the punishment! Oh, the By the way, he has Mr. Sacco! Boy, that's gonna hurt! Come on! Let's go. Yeah, yeah. He uses Mr. Sacco for the mandible claw, if you want to know, which is pretty interesting. goes up, we'll come down. What's he gonna do here? Pick some up and launches them hard. I think I think I think of what you think you're thinking. We're going to get this jack back Whoa! Oh boy. Oh! Gonna be good! Oh, oh man! <laughs> we might as well try that again. Oh! 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 Circle. Oh boy. Here they go. Here we come. Wow! Got him. Go down. Reversal. Oh! Move. What a counter! You might want to try that again, cause Mr. Sockles waiting for you at SummerSlam. What's this, folks? Not exactly minding their P's and Q's, King. Oh! Yes, 
Irish whip! That's gonna hurt! Ah, get out of the way! Oh, bad things can happen up there! Up you go! Oh my, what's he gonna do? Wow, what a throw! That's gonna hurt! Oh no, oh, no you don't! Know. Oh! Oh my! Oh. Devastation! You gotta be kidding me! I got you leading. This should be good. Oh, yes, it's definitely good. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. I don't know if that's a good idea to do that much taunting. However, Come there on. is. Yeah, what's gonna happen? Oh, he no. does make a tag team partner from when he was doing the road, if you want to know, with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And uh, also another tag team partner is with The Rock. So there, there was there was a connection with The Rock and Mankind called The Rock and Sockham Connection. The Rock and Sockham Connection of tag team. It's like an interesting oddball tag team with Stone Cold Steve Austin. But, an in, but a great tag team move with The Rock. Of the rock and soccer connection, and like this absolutely works. Hey, I can now. see a rock and soccer connection of the near future. Of course, uh, the rock and mankind have their differences, so, because ever since they were, because mankind wanted to be world heavyweight champion. wanted to be world heavyweight champion back in the 90s of WWE but uh, Raw is War. It was not called Raw, it was just called Raw is War. Did know. you see that? Oh man, this Which is intense. Is really Whoa, look at the strength shown here. Oh, what a throw it. Woo -hoo -hoo. God, that lightning's got to hurt. Oh, look at this. The taunting is unlimited here. I'm right here. Hey, wonder what's under that ring. Oh, oh no. A running power slam. No! Whoa. I got you, lady. Woo! What's gonna happen? Oh, what a nasty fall! Talking enough trash to fill a landfill. Look, I'm about to put your lights out! Victory has been secured by Mick Foley, who goes by the name of Mankind. So, he kind of had like a little visit with Vince McMahon when he when he was wearing the sock called Mr. Socko. And he, uh, of course, where does the name Mr. Socko came from? Well, it's simple. The reason uh, Mr. Socko ap uh, uh, absolutely came from Vince McMahon himself. He, he did not, he was the one who come up with the name, if you want to know. It wasn't Mick Foley, it was Vince McMahon, who came up with the name of Mr. Socko, <laughs> it's, it was, it was, it was, it, it was funny, but I like the name of Mr. Socko, of, you know, uh, um, Mankind and the Rock of the Rocket Sockum connection of the 90s, and also a, also, how do I say this, a bringing back the memories, and not to mention uh, a, a reunion of the Rock and Sock, con the Rock and Sock Connect, Rock and Sock and Connection, uh, the, the fans to try to win tag team uh, to go against a two on three handicap match. Handicap match. Um, it was really interesting to be honest. It was really good. I mean, in a SummerSlam, 
Uh, um, it wasn't on SummerSlam. It was like WrestleMania and then the others. And you, you get the idea. And, and it was it was starting coming close to the Attitude Era. But then again, uh, it it was it was interesting. It was really interesting. Big Boss Man. Um, I know who he is. Um, he was on the late 90s to the early 2000s, as I remember. I mean, it's been a while since I've not seen, I've heard of Big Boss Man. I mean, he, he dressed up as like in a police uniform or the cop's uniform. Of, you know, he's called Big Boss Man. It kind of reminds me of The Shield a little bit with Ted, like Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, who now goes by the name of John Moxley, who now is in AEW, and thanks to somebody who drove him out of WWE, and that one is idiotic person, which I'm pretty, I know who it is very much, and Seth Rollins, all three members of The Shield, and yeah, uh, Big Boss Man, uh, he... He's been on retro games I ever from like WWF WrestleMania the 96, 97 or like 93 from 92 or 90 from regular Nintendo games. I mean, it's something to bring bought brought back of old memories. And then Cactus Jack, of course, um he kind of tells a tale of how he's like the, his little son and daughter and of you know and how this creates this storyline that's so dramatic and epic and and that is cactus jack from one of the three faces of mick foley if you want to know making his way to the ring weighing it at 287 pounds cactus jack bye bye A SummerSlam blowout right here on Leo's Let's Play's Alliance Ultimate Arkhamverse comic strip version with a crossover. Making his way to the ring from Cobb County, Georgia, weighing at 330 pounds, Big Boss Man. Let's go! Trash talking their no for. I gotcha! Bye bye! You got this! Bye bye! What a nasty! Woohoo! Look at the faces of Big Foley! Woohoo! This is gonna be what I think it is. <laughs> yes! It's what? the Irish whip! Cactus Jack has been wanted, and Big Boss Man is looking to turn him in and send him to jail. Let the mind game begin. Look out, Moro! What's gonna happen here? He just launched him out of the ring, King. Oh, I got this. Look out! Whoa! I can't believe it. You Here have comes. no idea. Ooh. Great. Big show of Got strength. This. Lifting them all the way. Ooh. Oh no. What's he gonna do? Oh my god, what a land. You have to go out for a bang on this late summer. Double R DDT. Wow. Ta-da! You should have known better! Oh boy, this could be good! Oh yes! <laughs> it's real good! <laughs> wow! Incoming! 
That was funny. I was like, don't hurt me, boss man. Don't hurt me. Psych. Let me come back to haunt you. Oh, wow. I love that, you know. Ooh, that, is, that is absolutely funny. Wee. Oh my, what's he gonna do? Wow, what a throw! That's gonna hurt! Oh, no. I'm ready for you! Cactus Jack will lose a double arm! Yeah, you have no idea how much it's I've over, worked on of this! It could have been over! Irish whip! This? Sky high! Says the guy who Shoot makes him. it happen! Oh, man, oh! Could be in big trouble! Oh! <laughs> Some fierce action with that chair! Nice oh, try! Not exactly minding their P's and Q's, King! <laughs> oh my! Look out! What's gonna happen? Oh no! Are you kidding me? Man, the speedy recovery does merit! You do realize you're gonna get caught out if you don't arrest me! Come on! Oh! Holds that left hand. Double arm DDT. I'm about to pin you. will always be like one of the most memorable wrestlers who take so much punishment from The Undertaker and from The Rock and not to mention some from Stone Cold Steve Austin because like he's the guy who has like with no pain all of a sudden and then it's just absolutely incredible it it, it, it it's just the way how Mick Foley is and also he did came up in as Mick as Foley Claws on on a TLC pay-per-view event and it's it's it and I absolutely like it I mean he dressed up as Foley Claws because of when Alberto Del Rio kind of absolutely run him over so yeah and that was uh not the best way to have to start off on a miracle on 34th Street So, yeah. Mankind! I can't believe I think that thinking what I think you're thinking! I, I was a member of the family of Degeneration X! A rocket soccer! Or Mr. Soccer says hi! <laughs> I wanna go out with a bang on SummerSlam and Summer's End! What's up, dudes? Andre the Giant, um, he's always a special guy, um, I don't know much about Andre the Giant, but then again, uh, um, he has a connection with The Rock, I mean, yeah, he's a relative of The Rock, if you want to know, I'm not joking, I mean, this is absolutely incredible, Fandango! Goldberg! Oh, I will. There will be a great another time I would like to you know, talk about Goldberg. Jake the Snake Roberts! Yes! Oh my gosh. Um. So. He did show up back on the 90s of WWE, of, co of course, because he brought this really big bag. It's like a bag. What's inside a bag? And then he opens up the bag, and then all of a sudden, there's a big python snake. It's like, yeah. And then, and then the next time, and then he kind of showed in front of one, in front of Randy Savage, Macho Man, and his wife to a wedding, and then it brought like a some type of cobra. Like, are you serious? You brought a cobra to Randy Savage?
Savage Macho Man's wedding on WCW. And then, like, yeah. And it's like, why? Why did you do this, Jake the Snake Roberts, to brought up a freaking cobra? It's like, no, not cobra from G.I. Joe, by the guy who says, Cobra! No, it's a, a real life cobra. And they're like, yeah, it, it was a real life cobra. It's not a. It's not a fake snake cobra. It's a real life cobra that was to a wedding from Randy Savage Macho Man's wedding. It's it was it was the most oh it was very how do I say very sav truly savage of that to bring a a poisonous snake to a wedding of Jake the Snake Roberts and then he just oh my gosh. Ugh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, and there's some, there's some, uh, um, yeah, Jake the Snake Roberts, I don't know much about him, but he is a type of interesting wrestler to know about. I mean, if, like, like I said, if you guys know any wrestlers of this here in SummerSlam, why not make it a blowout? Making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 287 pounds. Mankind! You're finally home! You're finally home, Mankind! Making his way to the ring from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts! No, it's not Snake from Metal Gear Solid. No, no, no. Don't think about that. Three, <laughs> it's, two, it's stupid. One. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This could be good. Oh, oh my yeah. god. It's real good. <laughs> Look at here. Quick. I got a hammer. Oh, really? Nice. Oh, man. But not good enough. I can do a better taunt than you could. You will get counted out. Was late. He did that to perfect. Ah. Oh, uh, here we go. Let's go to the top. Big trouble, and I'm afraid trouble's just starting. With the counter, oh. picks him up, sends him flying. Oh, oh wow, that landing had to hurt. Here, let me help you and give you a D a DDT. to fill a landfill. Oh, oh, what's happening oh, here? Oh, oh, what a nasty throw to the outside. Bring it! Oh! I wish they would have added Duke Love on this. Oh, this could do some damage. Oh, boy, that's got to hurt. I'm not saying he's popular. I mean, without the three faces of Foley, there is, like, nothing. Oh. Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Here! I blew with Mr. Sasha! Oh man, look at this! Oh, look at this! The tawniness unlimited! This here. guy loves pain! No, no, I love pain! Completely restored this superstar. 
Looking for the big oh! oh, able to oh. <laughs> Mr. Sokka wants to beat you! Going for the submission! Oh. Looking for the top! Oh. Oh, that, that was close! Wow! Oh, wow! I'm playing hooky! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his gums chew on this! Oh no! What's he gonna do? Oh my gosh, oh, that was funny! Keep the rock soft and sweet! You may have to eat him! Really? I mean, can you throw a bone? What are they looking for now? I got this! For the right, no. oh. turns the tables oh. and delivers a nasty strike. Oh my! Oh. 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 Good. Oh my goodness! Oh. It is good. Oh wow! Down! Wow! Did you see that? It's unbelievable! Set for the ride. Final oh, gotcha. Ow! Oh. You know, you should have seen this coming. This is over. A sweet taste of victory here on SummerSlam, yo! I really like Mick Foley. I mean, dude love Cactus Jack and Mankind. Of course, he, I do remember that he did that Falls Count Anywhere with Hunter Hearst Helmsley. <laughs> like, yeah, Triple H. So, yay. <laughs> uh, it, 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 was, it, was, it was interesting. Cactus Jack! Bang-bang! Let's see. I know Andre the Giant is an old school wrestler, but I am not that high enough to beat him again. <laughs> well, the big show is something else. Why not? A, a brawler versus a powerhouse. So, who's going to go down from one of the many faces of Cactus, of Mick Foley, Dude Love, Cactus Jack, or Mankind? And also Foley Claws, because he has the Mandible Claw, which is always one of his favorite submission moves of all time, because he did, he did, <laughs> he did this on several wrestlers. Uh, to, for having the mandible claw of course he did retire and then came back for a reunion of the rock and sockum connection as mankind but instead of mankind he come back as himself as mick foley then he come back to uh, foley claws and then there was a uh then he uh, formed a team back in survivor series of you know with team foley and yeah i mean He's kind of actually a nice guy in real life, to be honest. Uh, Mick Foley, you know, with the three faces of Foley with Dude Love, who's like, I'm stuck in the between the 60s and 70s of Falls Count Anywhere. Woohoo! I too slow, and you know I'm from the um the digging in the 60s and 70s of the disco era. Yahoo! A false count anywhere, and I'm a cactus jack, and not to mention mankind, my man. You get, and I think I'm thinking what I think you're thinking. Yes, me do love. I think I think what I think I think you're thinking. And who would that be? 
I, I know who does want it more than just me as mankind. Cactus Jack! Making his way to the ring. Weighing it at 287 pounds. Cactus Jack! Let's go for this latest late summer blowout! There will be another time when I when I am gonna tell about this guy, of course. <laughs> Paul White, Big Show. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, what's the power here, Morrow? Brute strength! Oh my, what's he gonna do? Wow! Bye -bye. Bro, that's gonna hurt! Oh no. Okay, the rest period is up. Yeah, you can't win on the outside. Here we go! Not done this dishing it out! Oh yes, it's definitely good! Ow! Oh, I've never seen anything like that! What's he got in mind here? Oh, this is begun! Oh, oh, it is great! I got the chair! And what a way to end in a 
Summer Slam event, day event on this channel here of Leo's Let's Play The Lions. Wow. I enjoy it very, very much. And for that, we are going to stop here and also catch on for the fr uh, uh, Friday Smackdown version of Leo's Let's Plays Alliance of the Ultimate Arkhamverse comic strip thumbnail, of course. And you like to catch on that one as well. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And tell me what is your favorite, who is your favorite wrestler out of any WWE and of course um, and for those of any crossover from whichever works best for you and as your friendly neighborhood superhero who likes to take chances making mistakes and getting messy who likes peanut butter and chocolate and her breakfast for dinner Godspeed play safe and shalom and remember to fight with honor love truth and justice and I'll see you guys on the Friday night Smackdown version of, of Alliance style right here in Leo's Let's Plays Alliance of WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Friendship is magic for everyone.